Hello guys, I'm back again with another Wuthering Waves gameplay video. Today we'll be we will be continuing what we have left yesterday. And this morning we got some uh, some compensation for the uh, for the game. So so we get another 23 free pulls. And I'm going to use it. Quit the chit chat. Tell me what you need and I'll make it for you, provided your descriptions are reasonable. Then I lost it. Just continue the quest for now. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. And no need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we?
Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Zhang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. Mr. Mortify? Is that the person you were talking to earlier? Mr. Xiang Li Yao, I think? Yes. It doesn't take me much effort to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit talking with Zhang Li made it easier. He's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have. prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks much better than Mr. Mortify's, though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. Rover? Pooley, please don't touch that. It's dangerous. Results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago, the low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, 
the discs are rotatable now. Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing, but it's falling out of daily use. Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huanglong's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. I found it! It's located on the way shelf. was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Jenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Jenzhou's founding, and the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the Crownless. once at the appointment ceremony, so I can't comment on her personality, but her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Councillor Chang Li due to the young age of the Magistrate. You seem to hold Madam Magistrate in high regard. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her making it seem like she is complicating matters, or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. 
Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... In other words, there are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. Mm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha! All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Thank you. 